What's up, everybody? In TV land, I wanted to start this off by just sharing some tips from my upcoming book. Well, it's not really tips from my upcoming book. It's actually just tips that I've learned throughout the years within the natural health industry. I really want to share the best of what I know, just give it away, because otherwise, if it's just in my head, it's not really doing anybody good except for the people who I'm surrounding myself with, uh, which you know isn't that many people. I could certainly reach way more online and in other forms of medium. So I, I'd rather just share whatever it is that I know. And if it benefits you, it benefits you. I think a lot of these tips, even as I learned them, you should know were tips that I kind of already knew. And I think these are tips that you kind of already know as well, but you might not be using them on a regular basis. So I think that's uh, the, the really the, the trick to be aware that uh, some of these pieces of knowledge that you already know that might be common sense you're just not implementing at all. And one of the greatest tips I've ever learned ever with respect to health and wellness and specifically with nutrition, and it's really probably the most valuable tip. I think it's the tip that naturopathic doctors charge probably the most amount of money for, really, is the diet diary. That's probably the most valuable tip I've ever learned, both in terms of monetary value and in terms of just success. Because first of all, in terms of monetary value, um, monitoring somebody's diet, sending them off to create their own diet diary. Uh, basically, a diet diary is like a calendar. You you write what you've been eating and drinking, but with specific amounts for a week or two, typically. So you mark how many meals you've been eating, what you've been eating specifically, but also amounts. A cup of this, half a cup of that. Uh, if it's like a grain, you could say, half a cup of rice cooked or uncooked before you've cooked it or after that that helps track calories but then also types of foods that you're eating carbs proteins fats sugars that sort of thing if you're drinking a liquid whether it be coffee or a smoothie or just water you want to be putting the amounts of that so that you can keep track of that as well uh, and one of the biggest reasons why you do that is because of moderation it's common sense that we can all eat things you know everything in moderation right but when you start writing things down and you see how often you're eating certain types of foods over the course of, let's say, two weeks, you start to realize that moderation kind of goes out the window. First of all, nobody knows exactly what moderation means, number one. Uh, th there is no magic recipe. Uh, but, and on the other side of it, you don't, you, people just lose track. So you think with all the health conscious decisions you've been making over the week, with all the times that you've said no throughout the week, no to the potato chips, no to the French fries, no to eating a Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich when you're on the road, uh, you tend to reward yourself by then indulging in other areas. Because you said no to all of those things, yeah, you decided that it'd be okay to go out for chicken wings on Thursday night or Tuesday night because it's cheap wing night and... It's time that you can just spend with the family. What's the big deal? Uh, but then you disregarded the cream that you put in your coffee, which adds a ton of fat and calories. And you disregarded the sugar that you put in your coffee. And you disregarded the fact that you've had three, four cups of it throughout the day. And you might have had a bowl of pasta another night. And you might have gone out for pho, you know, Vietnamese pho, where you had a ton of carby noodles for lunch that one day. So you, it starts to add up. And at, at first glance, some of these foods in isolation, if, if you eat them once a month or every few weeks, there is no magic pill. But if you do eat them not that frequently, then I think it's safe to say that it's moderate. But when you look at a two-week diet diary and you start highlighting all the things that you're looking for, maybe in your case you're looking for how many calories you're actually consuming or where the majority of the fat's coming from or how often you're actually consuming carbohydrates and what kind of carbohydrates uh, when are you re consuming refined processed carbs? You know, you could start highlighting that in your diet diary. And, and you, if, if you look at that diet diary and you all, you all of a sudden you start to see all these different points that you're highlighting, that's when the excuses start coming in, right? Oh, it was a bad week. Oh, it was on vacation. Relatives came. We took them out for dinner. It was a special circumstance. That's natural. You're going to say that anyway. But the idea with the diet diary is to be as normal as you can have an open mind. Don't make excuses for yourself. It's okay. If you've eaten fast food, if you indulge, that's fine. Just write it down. Be honest with yourself and you're going to get a lot out of that diet diary. If you have any questions about the diet diary whatsoever, 
please email me, robert at lifelongwell.ca, DM me on Instagram, at Robert Horowitz, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have, but this is literally the number one tip you can, and actually, if you fill out a diet diary before going to see your naturopathic doctor the first time, it might even save you a visit, because typically, the naturopathic doctor will see you the first visit, ask you a bunch of questions, and then send you off to fill your diet diary so that when you return the following visit, let's say in a week or two, you'll be spending that visit going over your diet diary. So if you fill out a diet diary for about two weeks worth before you even see the naturopathic doctor, that might actually save you a whole visit, um, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, let me know if this is, give me a thumbs up if it's valuable, and if you wanna continue to be reminded with more health tips, be sure to subscribe. All right, check you later.